Hello everybody, it's uh, Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics giving you, going to just show you a fun progress uh, update on our the new mega build we're doing here. Uh, this bike is apparently going to do uh, some, uh, I'll have to get all the details, but some sort of uh, record breaking historic 120,000 miles in a calendar year type of run all over the place. So I'll try and find out more details and let you know about what's going on with that. But just like on any good home improvement show, you have demolition day. That's kind of what's happened here. So here's what the bike kind of looks like at the moment. A nice brand new 2021 Honda Goldwing with one mile on it. Yes, one mile. The owner's never actually seen this bike. Uh, he lives in Alaska. <laughs> Uh, this bike was, uh, we arranged a deal with Schroeder's Honda and uh, was delivered by Jesse Schroeder himself just this week. And so here I am doing my thing. So starting at the bottom, we got to get all the, we stripped the bike all the way down quite a good ways to get all the suspension out. So the shock and everything is out. Um, <coughs> we're, uh, we got the wheel off. We, uh, it's part of the process. We're gonna we put that uh, front fender extension on, which is just a silly thing that Honda should just do, but they don't. Even after all this time, they still don't have a fender extension on the bike. But anyway, uh, and then um, up in here, we've got all the steering parts out. So we're gonna put in a traction, of course, tie rod on the right. A new stainless steel steering spindle with a safety pin just to be super bomb proof. And uh, a, the, the tie rod bushing eliminator for the, the hole in the left side there where there's normally a ru floppy rubber bushing. We replace that with a solid stainless steel one. Uh, this guy is going to get a whole complete aftermarket handlebar kit. Um, it's going to get a uh, uh, we're going to custom build a shelf for other gauges and instruments and various accoutrements up there. And uh, so we'll have radar detector, radar jammer, um, multiple lights. So we'll start on the electrical on it. We'll do electrical on another day. I was just trying to get it ripped down. So down inside here, fuel tank's out, shock's out. It's a nice big hole down to the linkage there. Um, and then he's getting a CB radio, so we had to pull the paint off of the trunk because we had to put the antenna in. Uh, Honda did do some changes to how that comes apart. I'm going to do a video on that just as a separate thing to show you the little tricks to that, to getting the paint off and the speaker grills. Um, here's what that looks like in there. <laughs> Big old hole. And... Lots of stuff missing, disconnected. <laughs> Does, it appears kind of daunting, I guess, at this point. <laughs> so between, I guess, nine and it's about six. This is, uh, and that included unpacking everything and sorting and trying to get things figured out where they're going um, and get the direction going. Uh, and then the bike will be apart for several weeks because we'll be building custom parts like for that gauge cluster and uh, get you know, Farkle shelf. And uh, uh, this bike's gonna get an auxiliary fuel tank over in the, over the passenger seat. So uh, the bracketry and stuff like that's gonna be being worked on. Uh, Fire Creek Accessories is working on that. And hopefully they deliver something that's ready to bolt on and look, works good. And then uh, in the meantime, we will uh, be doing our thing here. Did discover, uh, so the new, looks, looks like the, oops, sorry about that. The new luggage rack appears to bolt on much cleaner and easier than the preceding one. But however, it is not the preceding luggage, luggage rack. Uh, they, they have a new 2021 luggage rack, so you're, you can't move one to the other. And as a bonus, I noticed something really nice about the new luggage rack is, although it looks and is shaped exactly and precisely just like the last one, except that they moved the bolt posts 
it costs a hundred dollars more than the exact same luggage rack from the 2020 bike so that was a nice one uh, from Honda thanks for that guys um, well anyway there's the poor bike <laughs> Well, and there'll be more coming apart because we got to put a trailer hitch in it and uh, and then wiring and all that stuff for that. So, anyway, so I'm Max. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. We'll keep you updated as we work on this bike um, and so you see the project through to the end. Um, this one's not necessarily educational, but just a video of interest for motorcycle enthusiasts. So uh, don't forget I got a membership button there for a couple bucks a month. You can get great discounts on all the stuff we build and develop and sell here. So thanks a lot and I appreciate you watching.